to make a statement. And I, like Andrea, I hope this grows into a monumental movement as you cross the country. I'm glad to see there's at least one elder here who's going to start off on the trip. I, I don't know if that... I guess you're not quite an elder yet, but uh, I'm glad it's more than just young people, that there are uh, the older generation. I, I just, uh, two weeks ago, I spent a week in the Arctic, camping on the, uh, on the ice floe, and uh, the Inuit that were our guides there were pointing out the enormous impact that climate change has had on their lives. And what they pointed out is they weren't part of the cause of climate change, and yet their whole way of life is now being impacted by the consequences of the way the rich countries are, are developing their, uh, their energy resources. I then uh, flew from the Arctic to Geneva for a conference Kofi Annan had on, the, on climate. And there I was absolutely stunned to learn that they estimate over 300,000 people are now dying right now as a result of climate change. And this number is going to climb to well over 3 million in the coming years. The 50 LDCs, the least developed countries, that is the poorest countries in the world, collectively contribute less than 1% of all the greenhouse gases we produce every year. So they're not a part of the problem, and yet over 95% of the impact of climate change is going to be felt by those 50 least developed countries in the world. In other words, they are going to be victims of what we are per perpetrating here. And as Al Gore says, this is a moral issue. It's simply wrong, but can a country that tolerates even within our own society thousands of homeless people in our own cities that will tolerate what's going on with our own people in the Arctic? Are we going to care about the 50 least developed countries in the world? I don't think it looks very good. I think the, the important aspect of what you're doing now is young people are going to go to Ottawa to register what is your highest priority. You know, for the last four years in Ottawa, every member of parliament has only been thinking about one thing, and that is when the hell is the next election and how do I get re-elected? The, the environment, climate, is simply not on the agenda and hasn't been on the agenda in Ottawa for over four years. Just want to remind you that when Mr. Chrétien ratified Kyoto in 2001, he didn't ratify that as a liberal. He ratified that as the Prime Minister of Canada. And he committed Canada to the Kyoto process. When Putin ratified in 2004, it became international law for all of the countries that had signed on. When Mr. Harper became Prime Minister, he immediately said, I'm not going to pay any attention to Kyoto, and declared as the Prime Minister of Canada that we don't give a shit about international laws. I don't think Canadians see themselves as international outlaws. And yet that is the position, and I'll tell you, at Geneva it was humiliating to be a Canadian. Canada is now regarded, you know, we used to be a country that at least said we care about the environment, didn't do much about it, but we said it. Now we are actively working against any kind of legislation or any kind of targets. Canada is seen as a spoiler going into Copenhagen that we are one of the countries that will stop that that uh, whole process from coming up with a very strong climate agenda. So when you go to Ottawa, I hope that thousands of other people will join you so that as Parliament opens, you deliver a very strong message. It matters to Canada. We are in a humiliating position, yet we are a country every British Columbia knows. Go down to Stanley Park. You know what the consequence of extreme weather is. Go up to the north and look at our forests that have turned from green to bright red. We know climate change is happening and the consequences are immense. We've got to get our leaders paying attention to your future. Congratulations and thank you all for what you're doing. Everyone, thanks for coming today and being a part of this journey. Um, I don't have a speech, I just have really an announcement to make. Um, uh, I just want to give you guys an opportunity to really take action right now and bring a message to Stephen Harper. So we have postcards printed here. They have one strong message on them, which I'm going to read out. Dear Prime Minister, scientists warn us that the Earth and the future of humanity are in peril in the lifetime of today's children. I urge
do to declare that climate change is a planetary emergency. Taking immediate, urgent, and effective action is the only compassionate and Canadian thing to do. And on the other side, there's a chance for you to speak out and say what you want our government to do. So it says, I want my government to, of Canada to protect my future from climate change. How? And there you can illustrate, you can put a drawing there, you can write. You don't need any postage on this postcard because it is going to the Prime Minister, so it can be just put in a post box. And please make sure that you put your name and address on it, otherwise it won't be counted. Uh, the best way to do this is actually if we just take a moment after the speaking is done to write it right here on these steps and then give it back to us and we are more than happy to, to put it as one group into, into the mailbox. So thanks again for coming. I'll hand these out now and welcome to Pedal for the Planet. This summer is going to be awesome. Woo!